It's an interesting situation having the bye week, but it gives us extra time to make some adjustments, make some improvements still, because at this point in time, there's things we still got to get better at, and uh, that's what we really hope to accomplish here. Yeah, instead of a bye week before the state semifinals for the District 6A champ, the entire District 3 6A field gets a rest to start the postseason. Some great matchups next week for the quarters. Coach McNamee and the Rams will be at Central York. Well, a couple more games to show you, including an offensive explosion involving Littlestown. The Thunderbolts strike early and often at Schuylkill Valley. Problem is, does the defense do enough to post the victory? Let's go to Ryan Yee for all the frenzied action in this 3A quarterfinal. In a Class 3A quarterfinal clash, the Littlestown Thunderbolts look to strike a win against the Schuylkill Valley Panthers. The Bolts find themselves down early 14 to nothing, but the Thunder is coming. Hand off to senior back Dylan Hare, who finds the gap, makes a couple defenders miss, and he takes it to the house from 25 yards out. Deficit cut down to one possession. Early second quarter, Bolts now down 21 to 13. Defenses turn a step up. Fourth down, need the big stop. Panthers hand off to Dominic Geifer. He gets stopped in his tracks. Chain gang needs to come out, and it's short. Bolts force the turnover on downs and they take advantage. Next drive, another handoff to Hare within the five. He trucks his way to the goal line, his third of the game. Touchdown Bolts to knock the game up at 21 in the second. A little bit of halftime entertainment at the break. Panthers lead 31 to 21, but it would be a tale of two halves. Littlestown find themselves down 45 to 21. Bolts need a spark. Panthers QB Logan Naraki with the option keeps it, but it's read like a book by the Bolts D. Naraki dropped in the backfield. They're forced to settle for a field goal. Bolts special team turn to step up. Logan Conway gets around the line for the block field goal, but it would not be enough to jumpstart a comeback in the end. Littlestown loses 45 to 21. Coach Biddle still proud of his senior group's solid 2023 campaign. The seniors, they did a great job. They established the building blocks for the future. Uh, their practice habits, their playing habits, uh, their attention to detail. Uh, I couldn't ask for a better group of seniors to to help me lead the Littlestown football program. And a tough finish for what many would consider a successful season for this Littlestown Thunderbolts football team. A big milestone for Coach Biddle in his first year at the helm, getting this team to their first playoff appearance in four years. They'll look to build off of this next year, but they'll have to do that with several new faces. But one thing is for sure, there's a lot of optimism building in this Bolts program. At Schuylkill Valley High School, Ryan Yee, Fox 43. Thanks, Ryan. We started the show with a Class 2A semifinal. Trinity, the winner over DeLone Catholic, turned one of the spots in the district championship. Now we have the other semi between Camp Hill and Anvil Cleona. Winner earns the other spot in the title game. Hey, here we go. Camp Hill and White. This is the quarterback, Drew Brandstetter, and he gets around that side, just avoids the rush, and then cuts back inside, beats a couple more defenders, back to the outside, and he's into the end zone. What a great scramble right there. 30 yards for the touchdown. Then Anvil's Cameron Connolly completes the screen pass to Dominic Cassiati. It's going to be good for a 25-yard gain, as it was the quick out pass near the sideline, but the defense converges and they get to it. Camp Hill then is going to force a fumble at the goal line. Alex Long recovers. He takes his thing 100 yards and all he gets is out of breath because it's called back after a penalty. They do keep possession, however, go into victory formation, flash the final score. Camp Hill with a comfortable road win in this one in the semifinals sets up a district championship with their neighbors from Trinity. 35-14 is the final.